I just want to see him get, get back with his daughters. Yeah. He didn't raise these girls from behind that wall. So I'm just, I'm man, I'm praying. Uh, of course. We all praying right. that we, with well, the we free. In, we in position to go in there and see. That's Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. See murder. Um, locked up right now. Um, been locked up for 20 years. Off and been, on, yes. Off and on. Yes. Um, what are you, have you been linking with him or do you I have haven't a, seen him as often as I want. And, if, and we talk about Corey Miller for sure. He was, man, in real time, he was me and Max leader, like you know what I'm saying. We ran, we we I can't put all Take my down. fingers together. It, it, it wasn't just talk, you know what I'm saying. You know, um, yeah, man. We really, really. I I just want to see him get get back with his daughters. Yeah. He didn't raise these girls from behind that wall. So I'm just I'm man. I'm praying. Uh, of course. We all praying right. that with well, we the free. In, we in position to go in there and see. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I visit him. I visit. I get, when Mac was there, I was just telling um this brother. Oh, Mac, I can't think of his name. Oh, Brian Jackson, I believe is his name. I met him. Brandon Jackson. Excuse me, I may have said that wrong. I met him yesterday. He said he ran real tight with C back there, and uh, I was just telling him that um, I'm gonna have to get his daughter info. I want to continue to visit him. You know what I'm saying? Because I normally. I almost just say kill two birds with one stone. I go visit Mac. I can visit him. I go visit him. I can see Mac, right? Yeah. So now we got Mac home by the grace of God, and we have to still continue to go see our brother Corey Miller. You know what I'm saying? I'll get on his visiting list. But bro, he is a different type of strong. You know, he's a different type of strong. And I'm so happy that the Kim Kardashians and whoever else out there want to pour their time and energy on bringing him home. Right. You know what I'm saying? Oh, funny! I tell you a funny thing, a story about C, right? Quick, and I, of course we get out of here. We went to Europe, right? Uh, I believe P didn't want to go to Europe. You know, Snoop was like, "I'm going to Europe. I do my runs over there." He's like, uh, oh, "Would you bring some of the younger guys with you?" So Snoop was cool with bringing us to Europe. 1998. All right, so I'm out there touring off a of one-air family. I actually wrote Street Life in Europe. Wow. But that was my 1999 release, July 6. So we over there overseas, man. See, just big brother up, man. We get to Paris. He like, look, we about to go to a, a, a surplus store. We're going to get us some fatigues. Everybody going to get knives. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be straight because we ain't got no poles over here. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be straight, better protect ourselves. You know what I'm saying? At the same time, we went to the top of the Eiffel Tower. At the same time, I mean, we did everything culturally yeah. a young brother seeing the world should do. Yeah. But at the same time, we didn't forget. Bitch, I, you, oh my yeah. God, we did not forget, <laughs> right? So we are in a, a concert, right? We chilling, you heard me? But we were like the biggest can coastal dogs you can have, Snoop can have, mm -hmm. that he didn't even know that we was ready trained on sight. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Somebody let off a gun, pow, in the club, right? We smelled the gunpowder from the stage. Right, and had not one gun, nothing but a knife and some hands. While we running through the club, looking at who let off the bitch. You heard me? It's not a gunpowder. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> running through this thing. You heard me? Me, C, Mac, who the twins. It? Who are we looking? Who are we looking? And that was how we was about each other. Yeah. Oh my God, that's how we was about each other, yeah. bro. We got ready. We did this tour. We went to one part of Germany. We had to, they had to lock us up in the back of the tour bus. And the driver had to say he was transporting equipment because this particular area was so racist. Having these black boys come through, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I don't know what would have happened. Yeah. We went to the checkpoint. I'll never get this because Thanksgiving was super close. We was back there. He said, the driver said, look, man, don't make no noise. I don't care if I knock on the door. If I don't tell you this when I knock, don't answer. Don't say nothing, right? He locked us back there. We went through the checkpoint. He had pulled over somewhere. He came back, let us know it's okay. Thanksgiving, we eating. Uh, club crackers and Kool-Aid to bring in our Thanksgiving, right? Oh, we got somewhere like Switzerland. We're skiing, messing around. We're getting ready to go to Japan, Hawaii, right? C said, give me y'all passports. Give me your passports. I don't want y'all to lose them. Give me your passports. All right, big bro, no problem. Here, take the passport. We get to the airport. We had to drive an hour from the ski resort to the Switzerland airport. We get there, right? We're getting ready to load up, getting ready to get on a plane. We're getting ready to get on a plane. We did not have our passports. C right? C left the passports in a safe in the hotel <laughs> at, at the at the ski lodge, right? As the first time I seen his face, you know, like he he disappointed us, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't that deep, 
But to him, it, it him, him, him thinking he... Because he was taking responsibility. Oh, and then, oh yeah. man. Yeah. And I just was like, this is my dog, man. This is my... Oh, he gave me and Mac our tanks. He put our tanks around our neck. Wow. You know, once we had been there and, you know, they seen what was going on. And we had the, we like, nah, I'm like, don't trip. Man, Snoop said, y'all got your passports. Hey, I'm gonna see y'all back in the States, baby. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> she back in the States, cuz. She back in the States, cuz. She back in the States, cuz. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, okay, so we're gonna miss Japan, we're gonna miss Hawaii. So we get in the car, we see like, don't trip, man. Just don't trip. Then we go to the ski resort, drive an hour, get the passports, come back, right? So we're sitting there, he's still a little heated. Boy, they got guys walking around, minute 14, the, the officers and stuff yeah. in the airport. Man, we go through one way, it was the wrong way. So the dude jumped out with the gun. Da, 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 da. She like, man, you better get that goddamn gun out my face, man. He like, what? Man, out. another dude come out there at 14. So we like, oh, we oh, we up, it's up. I'm like trying to calm down. I, I'm in his face, round right? like, yeah. like, 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 see, calm down. They'll kill us. <laughs> and Don't. no one would know about this for a very long time. Yeah. He looked at me, that he, man boy, looked at me. You heard me here. Who had this? Who had this in his eye, dog? Yeah. But I, I, I was just being honest, and he felt that, and he calmed it down, and that was that, right? That was that, right? So we got accepted. We are gonna catch a flight the next day. We can't. We ain't gonna miss. We gonna miss this flight going yeah. back to the states. We get on a plane, come back to the United States. We get on a plane. The cat's still uptight. Maddie sitting right here. God bless his soul and his wife that passed away. Right? Yeah, magic. Ski team, I never forget they got these red suits. This woman, the guy's woman, is kneeing him in the back of his seat, right? So he's like, he'll get up. He like, man. And she's just like, he like, say Brown, say Brown, like the, they keep kneeing me in the back of my seat. I like, nah, dog, like, just chill, bro. You know what I mean? Just chill. She did it again, right? He like, man, hold on, bro. He like, say, bro, she do it again. It's gonna be a problem. I said, nah, it's all good. She did it again. He took his seat and laid it all the way back in her lap. Wah! Right? They jumped up. All these dudes jumped up. We jumped up. The sky marshal jumped up. You heard me? He like, you better call the pilot, bitch. It's up. You imagine, right? Bitch, it's up. Bitch, it's gonna go down. <laughs> it's about to be a problem, bro. We got out there playing, Sky Marshall police waiting on us. You heard me? I was looking at him like I he just couldn't chill. Just a bit, you heard me? <laughs> real, bro, bro, how old were you guys? We, we, we had to be 20, man. You nigga got all that money on these planes and jumping oh, around going to these different countries. That's, oh, that's a different oh, level, oh, oh, yeah, you're going to learn the day. You're going to learn the day. Like, uh, it, was a, it was a real lesson. I'm happy Snoop to this date brought us over there. And um, like I said, it, made, it motivated me to do the Street Life album because. It let me know the world was a ghetto. You know, I had this No Limit chain, this Rolex and all these things, but when I did Street Life, I stripped it myself for all those trinkets to put out my music and shoot my videos because I, I really saw the world was a ghetto. And I was in one part in the, uh, out of the country, I saw this woman hanging her clothes up on a, on a clothes line. You yeah, know what I'm saying? I remember that from home. I remember that, man. Yeah. So I was like, it just was real. I was like, man, the world is really a ghetto. Marvin, these people knew what they were talking about, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The war knew what they were talking yeah. about, you know what I'm saying? And ghetto all, boys. All bro, they, they knew the what they were talking about, the yeah. world is a ghetto. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.